Right guys and welcome to today's video and finally I have another episode of Below Average Customising out here on the channel and it's been a while since my last video where I make a full on custom, I don't even remember what the last one was. But you guys do really enjoy this series and I've actually had a couple of ideas recently of who I'm able to make and in this video we're going to be making uh, AEW's newest signee, uh, or one of their newest signees, uh, Mr. Swerve Strickland or Shane Strickland or Swerve Scott or Isaiah Swerve Scott. I don't know how many names this guy's had, but I think he is going by Swerve Strickland now. So yeah, I guess we'll see him in action in AEW pretty soon. But I've been wanting to make a figure of him for a while now. And I really enjoyed his stuff in NXT before, you know, um, I'd kind of stopped watching NXT. I didn't really see any of his stuff in NXT 2.0. The hit row stuff I wasn't that big on. Um, but yeah, I think he is a fantastic talent and I definitely wanted to make a custom of him just because I can and have the parts to do so. But yeah, as you can see, we did get a uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott figure in basic form. Thank God we got this before he left. This makes the head scan job a lot easier. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be using this head scan from this figure. Sadly, we didn't get any elite of him. I'm sure we'll get an unrivaled figure of him in about two years because they have a lot of people to make. Um, and yeah, that the, the attire isn't going to be, you know, exactly accurate to this. And we're not going to be able to include any tattoos on this guy, unfortunately. But, you know, I think that's fine. Um, I, I'm not saying I'm going to use it or anything. It's just kind of a placeholder. And I do have a jacket for him as well, which we can throw on there. But yeah, so we won't be, obviously... Somebody like me will not be able to hand paint these tattoos on him. Um, so it's going to be a little bit inaccurate, but so is the attire. It's just kind of going to be a simple little fix-up that we're going to be doing today. Not any, you know, painting or anything. Because um, I wouldn't know where to start when painting these. So we're just going to be taking the head scan from this figure. And I did think about torso cracking the whole basic torso or just the arms and throwing them on the Elite. But I thought, you know, that's just that's just too much effort. And I don't think it would really work well on the Elite legs. I don't even know if it does work well. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for that, taking the head scan from that figure. Then we also do have the lower legs kick pads uh, from this Daniel Bryan Elite that I have. Um, yeah, I was going to use this Daniel Bryan for something, but I need the kick pads and the... Uh, I was going to use the knee pads, but we're going to be using these open knee pads from this Ricochet. Because um, I can just put some regular black ones on this guy. And I think uh, the open knee pads will suit this figure a lot more. So we're going to be taking them off the Ricochet as well as the lower legs and kick pads off the Daniel Bryan. And for the main base, we're gonna be using this Elite 17 Kofi Kingston, which I've had for absolutely years. And I actually took it in my own time to acetone all the designs off. This was an absolute mess from when I tried to acetone it like 10 years ago or something, but I've finally found a use for it. And yeah, it's just gonna be simple green luminous attire. And yeah, I do like this torso for him. We're gonna pop out the arms and put on these rich swan arms. Um, I was going to use a whole Rich Swan, but he doesn't have, you know, the uh, upper thigh tight design, which is what Swerve Scott wears. Um, you know, he does wear tights sometimes as well, maybe just the trunks he has worn in the past, but we're going to be going for this look for now. Um, so yeah, we'll put the kick pads on here, we'll switch the arms around, hopefully the arms fit on these shoulder joints. I don't think these might be a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure. And the skin tones might not be exact, but you know, it's close enough. Um, and yeah, pop the head scan on there. So it should be pretty simple. Um, I haven't part swapped any lower legs in a while, so this may go wrong, but I do have my acetone there. I have the hot water ready. So let's get right into this. Okay, so we have the hot water right here. And I don't know where to start. Let's uh, pop the da -da -da -da, rich swan in there. And we'll pop. Daniel Bryan in there, as well as these lower legs. So I think we'll try and do that first. Maybe I can squeeze the ricochet in there. Uh, yeah, that should do. Okay, so we got those guys roasted in there. And yeah, we'll put the head scan off this guy. And we'll put the head scan on at the end to see what it looks like. So yeah, unfortunately, as I've already said, there won't be any tattoo designs or anything on this Elite. But, you know, maybe another, maybe if I sell it or something, someone will put decals on or something if they have tattoos or hand paint if they want to. But I'll probably end up keeping it and just as a placeholder. Um, that reminds me, I actually need to get the glasses that he usually wears as well as the jacket uh, to put on the finished product. Okay guys, so I am very silly and I forgot to hit the record button for this part, but it doesn't matter. All you need to know is that we uh, took off the uh, arms from the Rich Swan and we took the knee pads off the Ricochet. So we have the arms 
ready to attach as well as the knee pads. So next I'm going to do the lower leg uh, removal process and remove the lower legs from the Daniel Bryan body and this Kobe Kingston and then we'll swap them across. This is usually the hardest part and I don't have any pliers to uh, force the peg in place so while, while they're heating up um, I think I'll look for some and I haven't done this in a while so yeah this, this might be quite difficult because um, I'm definitely not used to doing this. Uh, I haven't done a, a, a part swap like this in months, I think. So yeah, once we've done that, we'll attach the arms and the knee pads and stuff and the head scan, and then we'll see how this thing turns out. So yeah, this, this custom has been quite simple to make. You know, I didn't want to go ahead and attempt to uh, attach any, you know, tattoos or anything or paint any tattoos. I just think I wouldn't be very good at that and it would probably ruin it. Um, so yeah, hopefully this looks good in the end though. We're just experimenting here. I'm a fool, I didn't hit record again, but we removed the Kofi Kingston uh, lower legs. Um, so we don't need those anymore. And now I'm going to remove these Daniel Bryan ones and then we're gonna acetone the green off of these. Uh, let's try and keep the peg in. Okay, let's push that through. No, the peg fell out, great, that's not good. Okay, so we need to attach these knee pads here. Now, which one is goes on the right leg? So that's the left leg. Let's put that one there. And then this one is the right leg. Okay, so that goes there. Boom. Right. This is the right kick pad. So we'll put that on. This is so hard to do on camera, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there for a bit longer. Um, hopefully that suits it out. I'm gonna go look for some pliers because there's no way I can do this without them. Okay, so I couldn't find any pliers, but I did find a screwdriver and I've used this before and this has really uh, helped in putting the pegs in the hole. Um, so I need to get a better camera on this. Okay, that's fine. Right. Get the cloth and yeah, let's push this through. Okay, so that one's gone through fine. All right, so I got one in, but this one does not want to go in, so I'm gonna have to heat this up again. And um, hopefully, this water is still hot enough. All right, guys, so that took so damn long to get through. As you can see, there was a bit of um, pain chippage due to the uh, screwdriver trying to force that peg through, but we did manage to get it through. Uh, now I'll just go ahead and add this knee pad and then I'll add the kick pad and I think we'll uh, acetone uh, the designs off and then we'll go ahead and switch the arms and head out which should be fairly straightforward. Uh, see, so yeah. there we go, got that on there. Okay, so we've added the kick pad there. Um, I'll go ahead and acetone these green designs off. They do look kind of cool but I do want the uh, plain black look. I think that'll look a lot cleaner. Um, so let's go ahead and acetone those things off. I don't have much acetone left and I need to save some for my next fix up, uh, next custom that is. Okay, so boom, there we have it. The kick pads have been acetone. That was fairly simple. Unfortunately, I did uh, catch the lower leg of Brian, which is actually painted black, not molded in black. So you can see a bit of the uh, white skin tone under there, which is something we obviously don't need on this figure. Um, so yeah, we may have to go over that with a little bit of uh, black paint. But yeah, now what we need to do is heat up the head and arms and then swap on the other ones to uh, complete this custom. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, get some more hot water now and then we'll be able to finish up this video. So there we have the uh, body in there, he is heating up, and then we'll put the Swerve Scott basic head in there, we'll get that off, uh, and then the Rich Swan arms, we may as well heat up as well, put them in that way. There we go, so yeah, it should be very simple from here. And I did grab this Elite, uh, I can't remember what series, Elite Ricochet, jacket just to go on i can probably find a more accurate one to what he would wear but we're going to use this one and then i also have these shades to uh, throw onto him hopefully they fit on the head scan i think this is going to turn out pretty good for a full custom completed out of spare parts that i found in my fodder box so 
yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so coffee's been in there a while now. Um, or the coffee head scan. Hopefully this comes off okay. There we go, quite easy. Arms. I'm hoping those rich swan arms fit on this body. Uh, I do need... I can't use them, I need some bigger scissors. One, two, there we go. And let's hope that these look decent on these shoulders. I think they should be fine. Yeah, they look pretty good. I think that works, thank God. And then the next one, boom. There we go, so pretty much complete. We'll just add the head scan now. And yeah, I think this has turned out pretty well. Only problem is obviously the head scan skin tone is a bit different compared to the coffee body. Yeah, we got that off. Boom, you can't really tell anyway. Boom. And there you have it guys. We have the Swerve Strickland completed custom you know he he didn't rock this attire on aw rampage this week i've actually had to film this video across a few days so i've now seen his in ring in ring debut in aw i thought it was really awesome and yeah he did he did rock the uh, long tights with the short boots but i kind of went off his nxt slash indie run he's wore this style of attire a few times you know with the kick pads and then the short trunk uh shorts or whatever you want to call them but yeah i think this looks sick i'll go to my arena now and uh, get some better footage under the uh, lights. These customizing videos always cause a mess, I swear. But yeah, apologies for the mess in the ring as well. Um, I am sorting through some AW cards at the moment. But yeah, here is the Swerve Strickland under the lights. I think it looks sick. Other than that small white mark there, which I didn't really uh, plan on. I do need to sort the back out as well as some marks. But I think it looks pretty good. We are going to go ahead and add, add the jacket and the uh, glasses in just a moment. But yeah, I think this captures his likeness very well. Uh, yeah, the basic scan is pretty solid. I'm sure we'll get an AW figure of him. Uh, probably went off for another year or something. They've got a lot of people to make uh, still. But yeah, I do really like how this turned out. So here he is with the jacket and the glasses on doing the pose. Yeah, I think this looks real nice. I may need to find a more accurate jacket, but I think this definitely works. You know, other than the no tattoos or anything, which doesn't really bother me, to be honest. It can just be another era of Swerve, uh, perhaps when he didn't have, you know, tattoos or anything. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, I think this looks awesome, to be honest. I love how it looks. And the glasses, I don't know where they're from. The Elite Ricochet jacket uh, really makes it pop. You know, you got the... Uh, lights and everything on there you got the studs seems like something he'd wear um so yeah guys thank you very much for watching this video leave a like on it uh, i'll try to bring you guys more customizing videos i do have another one planned which i will record very soon so I expect that on the channel uh very soon i do have a lot of other videos planned though as well which i'm going to record um straight after this or tomorrow at some point but yeah guys let me know what you think of the custom uh, is there any improvements you'd you'd make and yeah, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.